This tutorial explains how to change the point size of a ggplot2 scatter plot in the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you several examples and all of these examples are based on the data frame that we can create with lines two and three of the code. So if you run these lines of code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new data frame object is appearing, which is called data. And if you click on this data frame, a new window is opened, which is showing the structure of our data frame. And as you can see, our data frame contains five rows and two columns, which are called X and Y. And both of these columns contain numeric values. Now, if you want to draw these data using the ggplot2 package, we also need to install and load the ggplot2 package, as you can see in lines five and six. I have installed this package already, so for that reason, I'm just going to load it with line six of the code. And after running this line of code, we are able to use the functions of the ggplot2 package, such as ggplot and geompoint, as you can see in lines eight and nine. So if you run these lines of code, you can see at the bottom right of RStudio that a new scatter plot has been created, which is showing our five data points in the default size. Now let's assume that we want to increase the size of these data points. Then we can apply the code that you can see in lines 11 and 12. And in these lines of code, I'm using basically the same syntax as in the previous lines. However, this time I'm also specifying the size argument within the geom point function. And you have to remember the larger this value is, the larger are the points that are shown in the scatter plot. So in this case, I'm using a relatively large number, the number 10, to increase the size of our data points. So if you run lines 11 and 12 of the code, you can see at the bottom right of our studio that our plot is updated. And as you can see this time, our points are shown in a much larger size. We can use the same logic to decrease the size of our data points, as you can see in lines 14 and 15 of the code. So in this case, I'm setting the size argument to be equal to 0.1. So if you run these lines of code, you can see that the points in our scatter plot are relatively small. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.